just this good here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to recreate the fisheye photo lens effect in Photoshop. So first you want to choose the image that you want to use and as a side note we're going to have to crop out some of the edges so that this will work. So head over to your crop tool and make sure you're holding shift and click on the top left outside boundary and drag all the way down until it hits the other edge boundary and you'll see a perfect square crop. Now you're going to have to move this around and pick the portion of the image that you want to use. So as I said, in the end you are going to lose some parts of your picture, so use a picture that will work well with being cropped. Once you're happy with your selection, you can right click and select crop. Now we want to head over to filter, distort, and select spherize. Set the amount to 100% and the mode to normal. Select OK. And as you can see, this creates the fisheye effect. But we still have to take care of the edges of the image that did not get affected by sphere eyes. So head over to your elliptical marquee tool and set the style to fixed size. Now we have to check our image size. So go to image, image, size and in my particular picture it's 931 by 931 pixels so that is what I'm going to enter into this width and height box next to fixed size also make sure you're using PX for pixels otherwise you might get inches now if we click exactly on the top left corner of our screen it should make the perfect size selection based on your image and it will select exactly what we want so right click that selection and select layer via cut now we've split our layer into two layers. This background layer we want to fill with black. So go to Edit, Fill, and select Black as the contents. Now we've created our lens and our image, but we still have a few more steps to go to add a little bit more detail and realism. Right click on your fisheye layer and select Blending Options. Here you want to check Inner Glow, except change the color to black and the blend mode to normal. Also change the opacity to 100%. Here you can adjust the choke and size to something that you like, but if you want something that I think looks good, just use 20% choke and a size of 20. And go ahead and select OK. And as one more step I like to do to make this look a bit more real is grab the crop tool again select our entire image and while holding alt we can drag the top down a little bit as you can see by holding alt it brings down both sides and drag the sides out a little bit and once you're happy you can right click and select crop and again head over to your background go to edit fill and use black as the contents. So as you can see, I think that makes it a bit more realistic. At this point, I also like to add some unique color effects to my photo. I've actually made my own color effects actions, so I can just go ahead and select the pre-made action and hit play and add it to my photo. I haven't released these particular few yet, but I have released a color effects action pack and I've explained all that in a previous video if you want to check it out. I'll link it in the description box below. But there is your final effect. A fisheye lens effect in Photoshop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.